It's live from last week, episode 29. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just installed the newly gifted cushions on my seats for my mini. And I'm trying to figure out what to do this evening now that I dropped off the fiance for night shift. So let's see where we can go today. Yo, I think that's my coworker back there. Let me turn back and see if I can see if it's really him. Yo, I ran into Belas. Where are you? I'm on YouTube. Hi. He's on YouTube. <laughs> I'm famous! <laughs> Woo! Bye, Bilas! Have a great shift at work! So after I ran into one of my coworkers earlier this evening while I was driving around, I remembered that I'm actually in the area of a Facebook Marketplace item that I was interested in. You know, if I want to become a golfer, I gotta at least look the part. So here I am near Dundas and Ossington to go pick it up. So the cool thing about the transaction is I got a new used pair of golf shoes, a new golf shoe bag, and I know that the fiance is going to kill me, but the seller in the price also included one more pair of golf shoes. So if anybody else is an eight and a half and needs an extra pair of golf shoes to borrow, feel free to contact this guy. And later on, don't know if you remember this scene from last week's episode, but I decided to do a light modification install for my Mini. And since I had experience doing this mod for the front lights, this installation only took me 5 minutes to do. Yeah! And now for the other side. You guys ready? Check it out! Whoa! Looks just like my mini. So it's 6.43 in the morning. On Wednesday morning, time to be a good fiance and uh, pick up the fiance from work this morning. And check this out. I'm going to be using the new hooks that I installed in my mini here. Woo! Look at that. And maybe I might use the new mini hat. But yeah, gonna go and pick up the fiance this morning because it gives her one less reason to suspect that I went out and bought a pair of golf shoes last night. And to be professionally ready to pick up the fiance, got this baby, gonna plug her in. All right, where's the light switch? Boom. And now the fiance is ready to be picked up in her lift. Woo hoo hoo, let's go, lift sign. So, after being able to take a nice midday nap earlier today, I'm ready to go in tonight for my first of my two night shifts. But before I do, I have a special birthday greeting to my future brother-in-law, Josh. Happy birthday, Josh. It's crazy to see you grow up over the past nine years that I've known you, with our road trips going snowboarding with you and up to the cottage with you too, as well as me gifting you a Heineken keg for your birthday in the earlier years that I've known you. Anyways, Josh, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy out there. Can't wait to see what the future holds for you, and I hope that you had a happy birthday. And yet again, in between night shifts, only able to sleep about 2 hours and 45 minutes today. So I decided to get up and edit some video. But what I realized while editing some video is that this week I made a mistake on my intro. And I don't know if you could tell, but this was the original unedited video of that scene. It's live from last week, episode 28. Let's go! But whether you caught that editing mistake or not, feel free to comment below whether or not you actually did catch that mistake. So anyways, gonna go back to editing a little bit before I go in for my second of my two night shifts. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Happy Friday, everyone. Just chilling in the mini right now. After dropping off the fiance at work this evening, and had a good time carpooling with Miss Ghana and Kennedy earlier today. Yeah, Miss Ghana. Oh, he's 
thumbs up. And Kennedy, look at him. Three <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> we did it, we did it. With Miss Kana being Ethiopian, teaching me some Ethiopian phrases this morning. Endemine, endeminesh, donane. Anyways, just waiting for my buddy Tyler to get off work so that I can pick him up and Uber drive him back to East Scarborough for the night. Yo, now I'm with Tyler. Yo, Ty, what do you think about the sign? He's official now. Yo, official? He's official. I think I have to pay him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the meter now. <laughs> exactly. Yo, going for that five Gas, star rated. Gas is still on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, now that I dropped off Tyler at home in East Scarborough, time to visit another friend of mine. Cam Sue, I'm coming for you. Woo, Cam Sue. Boo, 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 boo. You're really Uber? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? How are you doing, man? Pretty good. Welcome to the mini. <laughs> <laughs> what yep. year is this one? This is a 2016. 2015, 2016. Okay. One of those. Yo, my buddy Cam Sue, come to pick that up. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, Cam Sue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to get your reaction when you open that thing up. Ready? Nas. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Like fast and furious. Yeah, man. Whenever I need that extra power. <laughs> All right, sweet. Such a tearjerker. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's six oh five on Saturday morning. The sun is just rising. Getting up early this morning because I gotta pick up the fiance from work. And so this morning, I wanted to surprise the fiance with some breakfast for our commute home. But I'm finding it a little bit difficult to find a fast food place that is not McDonald's for breakfast. So I decided to research where there is a Burger King or an A&W, and I'm back in my old stomping grounds at Church and Gerard for A&W. Hopefully the fiance will enjoy and appreciate this delivery breakfast for her this morning so that we can get off to a good bright and early start for our busy day. Thank you. Dang it, tell me how I just saw this sign when I only ordered one sandwich. I could have got two sandwiches, man. Wham, what a mistake. Now it's time to do a food delivery for the fiance. First time in a long while. So this is the breakfast delivery for the fiance this morning. Got some berry oatmeal, some yogurt with fruit, and a bacon egg from a and Yeah. And now fast forward 12 hours, when I just dropped off the fiance for her night shift tonight. And let me recap with you guys how busy my day was. So get this, the fiance actually did appreciate the breakfast that I prepared for her earlier today. Then after taking about a half an hour nap, I went to a local Canada Post to exchange two mail slips for packages that they had ready for me. I then went to Nofro's to get some groceries. I also got some of these small flat rate boxes to mail to my sister later on this week because she wants one of my action cameras. Then tried to take another nap, but couldn't sleep. So I made my way to the beach. So I don't know if you guys know, but trying to park in the beaches on a weekend, it's so hard to find parking. Long time beach goer, first time parking with a car. What a rookie mistake trying to find parking on the side street for free. It's times like these that I'm missing the motorcycle and the free parking that come with it. So after 20 minutes of looking for side street parking for free, I decided to bite the bullet and just pay three bucks for an hour and a half parking on Queen Street. Just chill here for an hour and a half at the beach, say hi to a couple friends and uh, make it a day at the beach.
damn, just finished playing volleyball and I got this as a result of playing today. Yep, that's right. My glasses have broken half. Sorry glasses, thank you for your service, but I gotta get rid of you now. And now here I am in the evening, chilling in my car, waiting for one of my coworkers to get off work so I can drive him home tonight. Look at the side! Look at the side! <laughs> I sincerely love driving this car. I'm picking up Jason again and we're going all the way to where do you live? I'm Finch. Finch and Islington. Finch and Islington, whatever! <laughs> so I just got home to catch the second half of the Argentina versus Brazil Copa America final tonight. And what do you know? A historic moment for my boy Messi, who won his first international title with Argentina. Just a quick congratulations to this guy and his team for pulling through to be the Campeones de America 2021. Just woke up on this beautiful Sunday morning after passing out at 11 p.m. last night. Totally missing the UFC fight that I was planning to watch. But I gotta get up on this beautiful Sunday morning to pick up the fiance from work so that she could get some driving practice with her G1 license this morning. So even though it's early, gotta be a good fiance, pick her up, and put my driver instructor hat on. Let's go. So after a safe and successful ride home from the fiance this morning, I'm here at Highland Memory Gardens to visit my tita who left her impact on us in a very beautiful way, but left us from this world two years ago today. Hi tita, it's raining out here. So I'm gonna try to make this visit quick. Tita, I got you some flowers and a little note. Dear Tita Malen, we love you and we miss you. With love, Jay and the family. And in honor of your banana chocolate chip bundt cake recipe, we've got some bananas here for you and some chocolate chips, but except they have peanuts. So sorry, Louis, because of your allergy, you won't be able to have these ones. But yeah, it was nice visiting you, Tita. Nice visiting you too, Tito. Continue to guide us and pray for us. And we'll see you next time. Now it's time to watch Italy versus England for the Euro 2020 final. Congrats to Italy for winning the Euro 2020 Football Championship. And I just remembered, do you guys know what day it is today? If you guys guessed 7 Eleven Day, it's 7 Eleven Day. So happy 7 Eleven Day to everyone out there. Now it's time to celebrate and get a 7 Eleven Slurpee. enjoy my Slurpee from 7-Eleven now. Happy 7-Eleven day everyone. Mm. Ah. Warning, brain freeze. Should have read the label. Ah. Ah. So I got up really early this morning to pick up the fiance from work, make breakfast for her. And now that things are slowly opened up, we went to the church to meet our priest that will oversee our wedding. And it was really good to do that because we're very hopeful of getting married this November especially since the pandemic had pushed back our wedding date. And speaking of big celebrations like that, we actually have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. 
first, I want to wish a happy birthday to Anthony. Happy birthday, Anth. I remember back in the day playing house league soccer with this guy. And he'd be an awesome teammate as well as an amazing leader on the pitch. Not to mention his lethal right foot. But anyways, Ant, hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. And I hope that you have a happy birthday. Next birthday greeting I have is for a childhood friend of mine, Tanner. Happy birthday, Tanner. I remember years ago when I'd visit you on John Walter Crescent and you'd show off your Bowflex down in the basement, as well as the numerous workouts that you had imitating Big Papa Pump. Anyways, Tanner, it's been a long time. Hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy out there. And I hope that you have a happy birthday. Last but not least, I have a happy birthday greeting for another childhood friend of mine, Monique. Happy birthday, Monique. I remember her being an amazing athlete, always representing the schools in basketball and soccer especially. From the days from MT to GS to St. Stephen's to HT, she would always rip it up on the basketball court and on the soccer pitch. Anyways, Monique, hope you're keeping that up. Hope you stay safe and healthy out there. And I hope that you have a happy birthday. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up this week's episode with me going in for one night shift tonight. So if you've enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Don't forget to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and smash that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.